starting a logo design project for a client that is a hairstylist. She also does um, like barber work, hair coloring, makeup design and stuff, um, or makeup work. But today we're focusing on box by Lucia. So I thought we would start by um, getting this project going together so I can show you guys what I kind of do when I'm just starting a project. Um, so I have a kind of bare bones client brief here. Um, I put in some of the information just to get us going, but some of the things that we're going to be looking at and getting started is the Pinterest board that she sent me of the things that she is liking so far, and then kind of add to it and make a move board, and then also find some um, font choices that we'll add in as well um, for her to look at and kind of see what she's liking and not liking. So yeah, let's get started and see what's on the Pinterest board that she sent over. Okay, so this is our little branding board. So starting off, it really looks like she's really drawn to like bold graphic type, um, something that's like very display and dramatic. Um, I know she like loves horror movies, she's got tattoos and cool colored hair. So like this type of type totally makes sense. Um, we have kind of like some soft hand done style, a little like tattoo inspiration it looks like. Um, as far as like the more branding inspiration it looks like at the bottom, it looks like we got some like slight graphic elements with like strong type. So that's really good to be looking for. Um, we do need to think of like a graphic element to go with it because she does want to include this with stickers as well. So that's super good to be thinking of in this like thought process phase. It's just kind of like classic hair ideas and kind of like a little bit girly and more feminine it looks like. Um, so maybe we can kind of combine the two, have a little bit more of the like beauty style feminine look with still bringing in her little more like edgier style, especially with like some of these font choices. I think we can come up with something that looks like her and her business. So it has some personality to stand out because I know there's a lot of like hairstylist cards going out there at the end of every haircut. So yeah, that's where we're gonna start. So let's get going. I made a little like homemade chai, so. Huh. We're gonna do that and get going. Okay, 
so I went through and I saved all of the photos that Lucia had put in for the Pinterest board of things that she was taking. And I'm gonna kind of look around and see if there's anything that I'd like to grab and put in for the mood board as well. Um, so we're looking for either like font examples, little like illustration symbols or graphic um, styles that might be good that we can like pull in for whatever imagery we wanna show. Um, <clears throat> I'll also look up like hairstylist examples to see what other people are doing for the same thing just to get an idea of what they're doing um if there's like any interests or looks that she's into i might look at that like a tattoo branding or something of that sort uh font choices that oh and then layout so general just like layout ideas as well so we'll see what we come up with we're gonna save some few things and then we'll um once we have this done we'll put it all in the mood board together i'm gonna start with like branding maybe i'll do like branding ideas so let's go through um how to design a logo for your brand not really what we're looking for let's do branding design inspiration okay so this is definitely more helpful i'm gonna pull take a screenshot of this one i like this layout a lot i think if we find a good display type this could be like a good idea to kind of have it big and bold and maybe like connect the two things so we'll save that I'm pretty sure I've saved this one before. Um, I just love the examples they have, this whole branding sheet. Like this is a good example of a really great branding sheet. So they've got their logo here. They've got their palette. This is kind of an example of like the mood they're trying to convey or like they were inspired by. Um, they've got their two font choices, like a more display one and then this one for like the subtext. And then they've got like some nice sub marks. So little like illustration pieces they can pop in. So love this, if I haven't saved it. Let's see. This is all very like shwooly looly. Very like 70s, cause that's kind of like hip right now. I'm gonna take a screenshot of like this here because once again, like, the font isn't exactly what we were looking for, but I think this like playful type is really great and could be really good for what we're doing. Let's try looking up tattoo shop branding. Okay, this is cool. I think something like this could be really awesome. I love the black background, which is something I use a lot, but we could use some like really fun type, do her like different services here and then put in the like graphic element more in the middle. So let's try and like screenshot that one. That's really cool. I'm kind of feeling this. <clears throat> I'm gonna screenshot this. I think this could be a good example of old ass type and then some nice illustration elements in the middle. Get out of here, Zazzle. Um, let's find one more together and then I'm gonna zip through this and just kind of like look through a bunch. I'm finding a lot here, so I guess I'll keep going down. Oh. Bitch, this is cute. It's like cute and cool together. Yeah, that's super sick. Abstract lino cut vector set. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna keep looking and just keep working on the move board and we'll check in in a little bit. We've only just be. got the mood board done as you can see here this is kind of like more of the type ideas i would say of like font choices that we're liking and be pulled and then the second one is still some font choices but it's a little bit more of like layout and then 
um, like ideas of how we can do more of like the overall branding and how we can put it all together. So we're not really at like graphic uh, ideation yet where we're sketching or like putting things out, but just kind of getting more of the idea. Um, so the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm on here on like Adobe fonts and I'm gonna be going through and looking for some font ideas to see um, where we stand and grab some examples. I typed in the sample text for Locks by Lucia. So I'm gonna screenshot some of these and include these as well and see if any of them um, are kind of like what she's thinking. So I went in and I found some type choices that I thought looked a lot like the ones that were being pulled up in the mood board. Some really fun ones. Um, <clears throat> some kind of like soft but with like some attitude. Some like really fun cutout ones that we could do some fun display ideas with. Um, I think this one is my favorite, especially for like hair. I just think it would be really fun. Um, and like we could do a lot with it um a really soft one that we could play with and then this one is a little bit more of a like hardened tattoo shop kind of idea so i got the type all together for her to look at we also got um as before the mood board i put in just like a quick little project summary and yeah so this is what we're gonna send off to her right now um when we hear back we'll be able to know what we're leaning towards as far as styling and layout and everything and at that point we can start sketching um didn't you don't want to jump in too fast with like getting married to an idea in sketching until you hear some feedback because personally I just I really want to get on the same page with the client first so yeah we'll send this off and hear what they say all right well I'm gonna send this off to Lucia um thank you for coming along as we get this project started I know it was kind of a quicker one but I was jumping into this project and I thought might as well document it in little bite-sized pieces as I get it done um this is definitely more of like a freeform project, but we'll see what it goes for. And I'm really excited to get to the sketching phase. So we can kind of see how from like a little thumbnail idea can become like a full blown sketch. So er, <laughs> we can see how like a thumbnail idea can become like a full blown logo. So that will be a really fun document as well. So yeah, thanks for coming along. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this in an email now. So bye.